Today we're going to take notes and talk about adding and subtracting decimals, which most of you guys probably remember from elementary school. So in your table of content, you're going to put today's date, put adding and subtracting decimals, and mine's on page 11, yours may be on page 10 or 12. Okay. Once you've done that, go ahead and turn to your next clean page. And at the top of your next clean page, go ahead and put adding and subtracting decimals. So there's really one main rule for adding and subtracting decimals, and that rule is that you must line up the decimals before you add or subtract. So that is the first thing we always do before you add and subtract, and that is to line up the decimals. So I'm going to put line up in capital letters. We have to line up the decimals. Okay, so let's do some examples. Let's start with adding. Okay, so the first example we're going to do is we're going to add 48 plus 15 and 6 hundredths. Now you might say, well, there's no decimal in this number. But remember, when you don't see the decimal, where is it? It's invisible. It's behind the number because if we put it here, it's still 48. It doesn't change the value, right? So it is 48 plus 15 and 6 hundredths. Okay? So I'm going to rewrite it vertically. You have to rewrite it vertically in order to line up the decimals. So I'm going to do 48, and there's my decimal, plus 15 and 6 hundredths. Okay? Now, if there's no number above these digits, what do we put? We put zeros. And then you add. 0 plus 6 is 6. 0 plus 0 is 0. Bring down the decimal. 8 plus 5 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. Plus the 1 is 6. So our answer for 48 plus 15 and 6 hundredths equals 63 and 6 hundredths. Okay? So that's our first example. Let's do one more. In our next example, we are going to add 1 and 2 tenths plus 14 and 325 thousandths. Okay. So again, we're going to line up the decimals. Make sure the decimals are lined up. And your numbers should be lined up too. We're going to add. Now, if we don't see any numbers above, what do we put? Zeros. Now we add. 0 plus 5 is? 5, 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, bring down the decimal, 1 plus 4 is 5, and 0 plus 1 is 1. So our answer for this problem is 15 and 525 thousandths. So that's the answer for this problem, 15 and 525 thousandths. Now let's do some examples for subtracting. Oh, actually, before we do that, when you read a word problem, there are certain key words in the word problem that tell you you're going to add. Okay? So down the bottom here, we're going to put key words for adding. Okay? Key word for adding. So how do you know when you read a word problem that you're going to add? Well, if it says total, right, you're going to add. If it says sum, find the sum. Sum means the answer to an addition problem, so you're going to add. If it says all together, so you combine everything together, all together, that's adding. If it says in all, that's also adding. Okay. And, of course, if it says plus, that's also, that also means to add. All right. So when you read a word problem, it says, oh, what's the total? Or find the sum? Or what is it all together? Or how much is it in all? Then it's adding. All right. So I'm going to turn to the next clean page. Back here and right in the back because we're not done with these notes. Now let's talk about subtracting decimals. Okay, let's do a few examples for subtracting decimals. 
All right, so our first example will be 25 minus 8 and 38 hundredths. Okay. 25 minus 8 and 38 hundredths. All right. So again, we have to line up the decimals. If you don't see the decimal, where is it? It is back here. So when we line up the decimals, our decimal's there for that one, and then 8 and 38 hundredths, subtract. Now again, if there are no digits above your numbers, what do we put? Zeros. Okay. Now I have a lot of kids think, oh, I'll just bring down the 38. You cannot do that. 8, can you take 8 from 0? No, you can't. You don't get 8 more when you take 8 from nothing, right? So you need to borrow. Now, is there anything to borrow here? No. So this digit needs to borrow from the 5. So the 5 becomes a 4, and this becomes a, a 10. Now, can we borrow from the 10? Yes. The 10 becomes a 9, and this becomes a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 3 is... 6, bring down the decimal. 4 minus 8, can we do that? No. Borrow. Now it's 14 minus 8, which is 6. And 1 minus 0 is 1. So our answer, 25 minus 8 and 38 hundredths, would be 16 and 62 hundredths. Okay? Now, what are some key words for subtracting? Just like for adding, when you read a word problem, there are keywords that tell you you're going to subtract. Okay, so what are some key words for subtracting? Well, if it says minus, because minus means to subtract. If it says find the difference, difference is the answer to a subtraction problem, you would subtract. If it says less than, you would subtract. If it says how much more, so if you're comparing one person to another, like Halloween candy, how much more did um, Des get than, you know, Ashlyn, then you would subtract, right? Um, and if it says take away, right, if you take something away, you would subtract. So those are some key words for subtracting. Minus, difference, find the difference, less than, how much more, or take away. All right?